Hi, I'm Rick, and today we're going to talk about 61131 functions in Accelerator RTAC software. A function is a subroutine or a small program, or you could think of a subprogram, that performs an iterative task. So you don't have to keep writing the same software over and over again. You just keep calling the same function. Um, it, it differs from a program in that it doesn't remember from one time you call it to the next. So it forgets every time. So every time you give it one input or two inputs or three inputs, it's always going to give you the exact same result every single time. Another thing that's different is that it always returns exactly one value. And the value can be um, an integer or a Boolean or whatever, and you can define that when you define the function, and we'll, we'll see that in a second. Um, it can be called by a program or by a function block. It doesn't run on its own. If you don't call it, then it doesn't run. So that's some of the basics. Now let's see how we uh, configure one. So from the insert ribbon in Accelerator RTAC in an open project, you click on the IEC 61131-3, select function, and here you can change the name of the function to whatever you want it to be. You can select the language, continuous function chart, ladder diagram, or structured text. And you can also select the return type. That's the type of the variable that's going to be returned or the value that's going to be returned as the result. And we'll see how that works here in just a second. So I've inserted a function. And this function, I'm going to do a scale of a double integer. So up at the top, we have our variable area or our var area. And we have local variables or local vars. And those are only used within the function. They're not accessible anywhere else in the project. And we also have var inputs. And var inputs are necessary to a function because that defines the variables that are coming in or the values that are coming into the function. Down here, we have the code part of it. Basically, I'm looking at the value coming in, and I'm scaling it using a floor, a ceiling, and a scale value. And then I take the output of that, and I assign it to the function name. And that's a little different than what you would do in a program. And you can see up here at the top that a function name is of type d int or double int. And I'm assigning a double int value to that function name. Now, if we go over to the program where I call it, you can see I have a local variable called scaled analog. It's a double int. And I'm assigning the output of that function to that local variable. And you can see here how I call the function. So I have the function name, and then open parentheses, and then I assign each one of the input variables that are defined in that function. I assign those a value. And here I assign them just the value of an input register. Again, functions you call for iterative processes. They don't remember from one time to the next. They should always give you the exact same value for the exact same inputs. Because they don't remember from one time you call them to the next, they're not very good for counters or timers or things like that. But there are also variables that you can manipulate that you can see outside of that function from your program. And those are called var outputs. So here I have another function that is the same function as before, but I'm, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to scale the analog value. And then if the value is out of range, like under or over a given value, then I'm going to set this result flag. And you can see this is defined as a var output. So the program looks exactly the same as what it was before, except for the difference is if the temp value is greater than the ceiling or the temp value is less than the floor, then I'm going to set this result flag to true. And you can see I assigned the temp val to the function name just like I did before. It looks the same as before, but the difference is on the very end, result flag, which is that var out, is assigned to my local variable over under range flag. And you can have any number of those var outputs. And that's pretty much it for functions. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call us here at SEL. Thanks.